If you want to start using AI agents and you don't want to learn an entirely new platform like Crew AI or N8N, well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can connect any of your existing make automations to a relevant AI agent so you don't have to go through the process of creating and recreating all of these automations that you already have in hand in these specific platforms. So let's get started. Well, if you're new to the channel, my name is Matt Paiva and I build AI solutions for businesses, especially on the sales and marketing side of things. And I actually stumbled onto this type of solution when I was building an inbox manager for a client and that inbox manager is hosted in relevance AI, but I wanted to take advantage of an existing structure that I had in make to just run an automation that I already had instead of recreating the whole automation in relevance. And I came across the solution of using custom webhooks. And this is exactly what we're going to be going over in this video today. So let's jump into the computer to get started. So what you guys are seeing on the screen is a really similar version of an automation that I built for a client, which is an automation that takes any incoming communication or ongoing communication via email and creates tasks on ClickUp. The whole point of this automation is to reduce the time that managers spend assigning and reassigning tasks on ClickUp, which is actually uh, a really expensive problem uh, depending on the business that you have. I estimated that is around a $9,000 problem, but you can go learn a little bit more about that on the video that I'm going to leave on the card over here or over there and never the way it is. But let me not get lost any further. I wanted to use this exact structure, this exact skeleton in a relevance AI agent. And as you guys can see, I have a few different agents that are over here. This is just my personal account. And, uh, most of these are not active as of right now. But I wanted to, instead of having to recreate this whole thing and go through the process of figuring out the errors and learning all of the nuances of relevance AI, I just wanted to take advantage of this thing that I already had in make, right? So what I did is that I connected a Gmail account to a specific relevance AI agent, and then I replaced this trigger. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start by deleting our trigger and you can go ahead and delete the trigger that you have in your automation that you want to try this out for. And you'll see that like you're going to receive these yellow dots on the portions where you have inputs coming directly from your trigger. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a custom webhook. There we go. And we're just going to click on this one and we're going to click on create a webhook. What's going to happen after is that we're going to be asked to create a name. So I'm going to call this ClickUp Task Creator Relevance AI. And I'm going to save it really quickly. So what we have over here is we have now a link that we can use in our automation. In this case, the automation that will be running in relevance AI. So now we still need to go ahead and fix the other portions over here, because for example, this open AI step, this chat completion step is receiving information that no longer exists because it was information coming directly from that email, but we still need that information to come in. Um, so you would think that you can just go down to where that was and replace it, right? So if I just click over here and I want to replace it with something, nothing pops up, right? Because we don't have any inputs coming in from this portion over here. We need to run this webhook before we actually figure out what the inputs are. So once you replace your your trigger with your webhook, what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is unlink it and go back to relevance AI. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to create a brand new tool um, just so we can show this how this process would work from scratch. So we're going to click on create a new tool. And then here you can like view templates. You can import the tool. If you want to import this one that I'm showing, um, you can go ahead and click on the link down below. I have a bunch of different tools that are already built. Um, not many of them are from relevance AI. I have a few agents down there, but I have other tools that are in make.com that you can go and take advantage of as well. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to click on create a new tool from scratch. Um, just because that's kind of how we're going to do it for this video over here. I'm going to change the title or add a title to this tool. I'm going to call this ClickUp task creator, and I'm going to add a short description because whenever we're using relevance AI agents, it's really useful to include descriptions. That's what the agents use to understand when to use and when not to use these types of tools. So that's just going to be a really quick description saying that this tool creates ClickUp tasks based on incoming emails. And now we're going to start by adding our inputs. So first input that we're going to need is the email content. Well, and how do you figure out what inputs do you need, right? Well, you need to go over to your automation and figure out what inputs you're taking in from your trigger and then essentially recreate them in relevance. So in this case over here, we had a date field that I deleted. We have an email content field over here. And later down the line, we're going to use as well the subject line of the email. So we need three key components coming in email content, 
Also include the descriptions over here. Like I said before, relevant AI agents rely a lot on these, on these descriptions. And remember to label your um, inputs as well. So this is gonna be email underscore content. We're gonna do the same for the other ones, email subject. Subject line of the email. And I could actually include more inputs over here if I was using any more on this automation, but since I'm not, I'm just gonna keep it simple for this case. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create one step over here and it's gonna be a really simple step. We're gonna run an API call. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do is that when you see this URL uh, portion over here is to go back to make, click on your webhook, copy this, and then you go back to relevance and paste this. This is essentially the endpoint that we're gonna be using for our, our trigger to work, right? And we're gonna change the method over here from get to post, if I'm not mistaken. And now we're just gonna create our URL parameters. So here, our first parameter will be email content. And then here, we're gonna select email content. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other two, email subject. Over here in the value, we select the email subject. And then email date. And on the value, we're going to select the email date as well. Now this part should be ready. So what we need to do is to actually get this webhook to receive the information that we're gonna be sending forward. So what we're gonna do is click on run. This is gonna start running our webhook over here. And essentially what's going on is that this webhook is waiting for information to come. Now, how do we actually get this information to, to go there? Well, we just input some test things over here, subject line, I'm just gonna put forward new task, email content, hi, do this task, and the date, random number, literally writing <laughs> random number because this is just a, a test run. Now from here, we're gonna click on run tool and we'll see down here that the tool output is accepted. When that pops up as accepted, it means that our webhook worked. So we just need to go back to make.com and we'll see that we have now three different inputs, email content, email subject, and email date. Now we can use any one of those inputs in the same automation that we had from before. So the idea here is for you to take your automation and just replace the inputs that you had from before with the new inputs that are coming in from uh, Relevance AI. So once your webhook did work, what you need to do is just go ahead and fix your content coming in from before. So email content, this is gonna be it. Email subject, or this one is email date, email date over here. And then over here, we needed to connect our um, subject as well. So we delete that. And then we go for, we go look at our information and click on email subject. There was an input of start date, which we could still use the start date coming in from the email. So we could use like in this scenario, the same input over here, but this was actually kind of redundant in this automation now that I think about it. So I'm going to keep it without anything here. We're going to save, make sure that the automation is working. And in order to run this automation, we're actually going to need to run this tool over here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to save the tool, make sure that it's in my tool library, click up task creator, awesome. And edit prompt of agent. And then I'm gonna use the same description over here after I saved my task for um, the prompt that the agent, like this tool creates click up tasks based on incoming emails. So I'm gonna add something really quickly when an email um, assigns a task to the receiver, use this tool. Assigns ClickUp, fix some small grammar things, save. And now let's actually go and build our agent, right? We're gonna click on agents and Relevance AI has a bunch of different templates that you can choose from. Um, you can also just say like, I want an agent that blanks. Uh, actually, Actually, I wasn't gonna use this, but for the purposes of the video, let's use this tool, uh, which is an AI tool within Relevance, where you can just use this like prompting tool to, to help you create your agent prompt. So I want an agent that reads incoming emails, identifies the emails that are assigning a task and uses a tool to create that task on ClickUp. Okay, really simple. And now we're gonna click on on go essentially, and we'll see what are the types of instructions that they're gonna come up with. This is actually really good if you don't have any like prompting experiences when it comes to building agents. 
I do think that this is going to be like a quite a complex prompt that's going to include a lot of tools that we're not going to use in this um, tutorial. But nonetheless, it, it's really fun to see how Relevance AI build these things to make it as easy as possible for us to start using AI agents. Um, so I'm just going to wait a couple seconds for this prompt to be ready and we'll get going. There we go. Like I mentioned before, it does use a little bit more information than we actually need. But you know what, we can actually we might even be able to include this thing over here, the last one, because there isn't a send um, email via Gmail tool that we can use right off the bat. But we can see that right from the get go, it starts by assigning uh, a, a name and a role to this to this agent saying you are a taskify, an AI assistant who is tasked with getting with identifying task assignments from emails and creating them in ClickUp. You will be provider email content, sender information and subject as your input. And then I'm just going to change here to be like and date as your input. Make sure that it's getting the right information. Please follow the below guidelines to perform this task. One, use analyze email contents to analyze the email content and determine if there is a task assignment. So here we're going to delete this tool where we, that tool doesn't exist and we're not going to create it. And so instead of saying use, we're going to say analyze. We're just going to start with the verb. Analyze the email content and determine if it contains a task assignment. Okay, step number two, if a task is identified in the email, use create ClickUp task to create a new task in ClickUp with the extracted information. That's cool. We're going to keep that one. We're just going to replace this uh, with a different tool that the tool that we just created. And number three, it says use send email via Gmail to send a confirmation email to the sender with a confirmation that the task has been created. Click up task link, brief summary of the task details. And if no task is identified in the email, determine the or terminate the task without any action. Awesome. So this has everything that we need. I'm not going to go over this portion over here uh, because I want to go over this type of information in another video. Essentially, in this video, I want to focus on the very specific thing of how do we trigger make automations that we already have so we don't need to come and recreate these automations over here. So what I'm going to do in the next video is to create an extra output over here that sends back the information to relevance AI so we can then send an email at the end as well. So that's that's something for for another video. Let's go ahead and create the agent. OK, so our AI agent was created. And the first thing that we're going to do is click on edit agent, go to our core instructions uh, and go from here to here. And we're going to change these tools over here to the tools that we created. Now, what's super interesting is that if you click on this, you will see that there is a ClickUp integration over here. But when I first created this automation over here, it wasn't supposed to be an automation that was running with an AI agent. But as time went by, we saw how valuable it could be if it was connected to an agent um, and it had it was running more like without any human intervention. Right. So with that being said, I didn't want to go ahead and create the whole thing again. So what we're going to do over here is actually we're going to connect the tools that we have. So we're going to click on add tool. And from here, we're going to look for our ClickUp task creator over here. We're just going to click on that. We're going to change the approval mode to auto run and prompt uh, for how to use this. There is this default going to this tool creates ClickUp tasks based on incoming emails. When an email assigns a task to a receiver, use this tool. That is awesome. We're going to keep that over there and then we're going to go back to here and we're going to swap this with our other tool. We just need to click on dash and click on the tool that was already there. Now, uh, didn't mean to do that. Grammarly always like acts up when I'm doing this, but that's OK. Now, this portion over here, I'm actually going to include. Do I have that tool? I think I need to add the send email via Gmail, send email public version. I had this one from before, so it should work or this one should work either. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this over here and I'm going to leave it for it to be approved so we can go and change this one, delete that to the tool, send email via Gmail Matt's test, but I'm not going to make that active to, to run whenever I can. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is to uh, turn on a trigger. So here I want to connect to a Gmail account. I'm not sure if I have this Gmail account connected over here. I do. This is an old account that I was using. And over here, you can even filter by like labels for a specific email. If you're connecting like a contact at name of your company.com or like a customer service email. I know that uh, for emails that have really big inboxes, having a lot of different labels is really good for organization. So you can just go over here and add these labels as well. 
right now this is just uh, an email that i used to use so i'm gonna keep all of the information coming in through the inbox over here and this is going to turn on our agent so let me go ahead and send an email to this um email over here to see if this is going to run properly also i'm going to remember to turn this on uh turn on the make automation immediately as data arrives and now let's go to gmail okay this was an example that i sent uh when i was first trying out this tool so we're going to send the same email to the account that i just connected we're going to name this subject line actually i'm going to paste this first and then we're going to copy the subject line which is create segments for email blast and i'm going to end with saying best vono and yeah here i'm just going to change the the deadline from january 30th to february i don't know 13th and we're going to send this email right away and now that we sent the email we're just going to need to go over here to taskify and wait until we actually receive the email i haven't received a notification on my phone so as soon as i do this agent should start working okay so our ai agent actually just worked to receive the email and it interpreted the email use our clickup task creator to create the task which is now over here in clickup and we can see over here that the automation ran without us having to touch it as well, which is really nice. And like I said before, I selected this as a um, tool that needs approval. So essentially it's drafting the email after saying like, dear Matthias, I wanted to confirm that the task segment in uh, segment, the email list uh, for the upcoming webinar promotion has been successfully created in ClickUp. You can view the task here. Now this information is what we're gonna build in the next video showing how we can bring back this information over here, or essentially the link for this task to this email. So it's sending all the correct information. But here, for example, if your use case, it would work from, from here on out, you can just approve and this email would be sent out to uh, your email. I actually haven't used this tool in like a long time. So I wasn't even sure that was uh, if it was set up or not. And now this is considered to be a complete task. And if we go back to our email, we'll see that we just received that email back as well. Uh, with the information that we needed, obviously without this one, because we're not sending any information back using the other one. So I hope this video sparked some ideas of how you can start using Relevance AI agents in your business by just taking your existing automations and then using this tool connection in Relevance AI. So you can just essentially use whatever you already have with a much smarter system. Now, if you want me to build any of these automations for you or an agent for you, feel free to book a call with me down below. Or if you want to learn how to build Relevance AI agents a little bit better, feel free to go watch this video that's gonna be popping up over here. In fact, it is a playlist that I go over how to build Relevance AI agent teams. So if you're interested in that, feel free to watch those ones and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.